What was the vision you had when you started Organic Architect? <laughs> I think the vision, you know, it's not very romantic. It's not a very romantic story. Most people, I, I don't know what they think, but uh, it started with uh, I was in, I was working in Santa Fe with a great guy, um, and it was just he and I, and we were building beautiful greenhouses out of adobe and straw bale and rammed earth and pumice and whatever we could find, and it was fun and great, and the clients would come in, and I loved it. The trouble was that in Santa Fe. Um, everything has to be in, in one of three historical styles. You know, it has to, everything has to be in that squashed adobe look, whether you like it or not. And it was just very limiting. And um, so I, I just, as much as I love working with Ed and, and being in Santa Fe, I, I just was getting creatively very frustrated. And there were lots of things going on in San Francisco, and all the people I wanted to meet were in San Francisco. And, all the articles that I was, you know, excited about were coming out of people in San Francisco or Berkeley or Oakland. So um, I came out here and and looked for another firm, you know, to work with. Essentially, looking for a mentor, and um, I, I couldn't find one. You know, there was a green community, but they weren't hiring, and and the people that were hiring were doing awful work, which you know you see all over the city. And so I s screw it, and I. I just started my own firm, and I didn't didn't know anything about really finding clients or or, or anything. And my my thought was, um, well, I'm just going to be I'm going to go out there and just be passionate about about what I believe. And I, everybody I meet, I'm going to say, you know, this is what I think in architecture that it should be um, a celebration of, of of personality and and should be natural and oriented to the sun and to the wind. And this is a smart thing to do, and look how beautiful it is. And uh, it just scared off a, a lot of people. I mean, clients just ran. You know, they, you know, I, people would introduce me, and I'd think, oh, a potential client, and I'd tell them what I believe, and they'd go run away. And that happened for for years. And I was I would do little projects. I'd do little bathroom remodels and little kitchen remodels, and then before you know it, you're doing full interior remodels and then additions and then whole houses, and and that's really how it grew in a very slow way. But the, the crux of the marketing was just be true to myself and true to what I believe in with the idea that it would scare off the people that I don't want as clients and eventually attract the people I do. And, and that's, what, that's what happened. I mean, it, it was uh, miraculous. I was, terrified of, I was terrified of falling into this trap of coming here and designing traditional Victorians over and over and over again. And then suddenly that's all I'd be able to do. And that's all people would ask me to do. I was terrified because of living in Santa Fe. I was terrified of, you know, just people would have me do Adobe houses over and over again. You know, and I didn't, I just left a, a place for that. I didn't want to do that here. So I really had to put forth that, no, I'm trying to do something innovative. I'm trying to do something that's responsible and different. And if you're interested in that, let's, let's try it as, a, as an experiment, really. And, you know, luckily I just started meeting more clients. And it really ballooned from there. And that's the advice I give to stu my students now when they ask me, how, how should I get started? You, know, you should try to scare off as many people as possible. Really, that's the, that's the philosophy. That's great. And it, um, there was a fundamental shift about eight years ago where I started feeling uh, selfish or guilty because although they were greenhouses, they were just still for two people, relatively rich people. Um, and, and really, if I wanted to be a green architect, it wasn't just to make my own buildings green, but I had to make every building green, that I really had to convince everybody of this. And that's, that's, that fundamental shift really changed everything. That's when, I, that's when I said, well, I'm going to scale back in practice, and I'm going to start teaching, and I'm going to start writing, and I'm going to start lecturing, and, and I don't know if I'm any good at those things, but I'm going to try them. And I really like them, and I kept, I'm, I'm, I don't, you know, I'm still, working at them and trying to get better at them, but I enjoy them so much, so I keep doing them. And as long as people keep letting me do them, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep going on. But, um, you know, now today, it's, it's much easier. That's the part that most people don't realize, is that once you suffer through the part of, you know, starving and not having a lot of money and not having a lot of clients, once you go through that, then, then, it's, then you're coasting now. I mean, now it's easy, you know. I don't have to convince anybody that we're going to make our projects green. They, if they're coming to me, they already know ahead of time that that's, that's what I do. You know, I named the firm Organic Architect for a reason. 
You know, we're not called toxic architect. We're not called crappy traditional design architect. So it's, it, you know, it's pretty clear what you're getting when you come in. And um, so now it's, now it's easy, uh, you know, to think back uh, 12, 13 years ago. It's, God, it was nuts.